What's up, everybody? Real quick, just wanted to chip in on something I read on the uh, Gears of War Reddit uh, today. Um, the co- the monetization in Gears of War Five and how Coalition apparently said in an interview that it's it's ahead of its time in the industry and that it's player friendly. Well, compared to what? Right, that's always the question. Compared to what is this exactly player friendly? Um, in the comments, I've been reading some of the comments. I, I still think this is a crazy amount of money to spend on something so like petty, you know, in the game. Um, a flag in the game costs seven hundred uh, uh, iron to buy. That's seven dollars for a fucking flag. Like it's ridiculous. Um, there, there's this constant battle between people saying, well, it's, it's nonsense. And then it's people saying, well, that's, it's okay. You know, the game's on Game Pass, so it's practically free. Well, no, that's not the case. It's, it's on Game Pass if you choose to buy it either on Xbox or the Windows Store, which there's plenty of people who don't have an Xbox or don't want to use the Windows Store. So they want to use Steam, which they have to buy the full game with the full game price. End of story. So no, that that argument goes out the window right then and there. So yes, if you buy it on the Game Pass, sure, it was two dollars during the event of the Game Pass being two dollars. What if you buy the Game Pass for four months? That's eighty dollars right there. Are you gonna buy the Game Pass just for Gears? Probably not. You'd want to play those other games. My point is, it's not an excuse to put in these types of prices. And then as people always say, you know, TC has to make money. I get that. I get that TC has to make money. But guess what? Make better games. And that is not to say that TC can't make a good game. No, that's looking at Microsoft and not giving TC the means to make better games. I just finished the campaign and the campaign was insane for Gears game. I've played plenty of other campaigns and during these campaigns, I I quickly think, hmm, you know, this is really good or this is kind of meh. Right when it's a single player game, but well, with Gears, with Gears Five, uh, coming from Gears Four and spending like two thousand hours on that game um, and doing the campaign a couple of times, like I was bored out of my mind on Gears Four. But in Gears Five, I was like, whoa, the graphics, the 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 character development, everything, the even the story arc uh, in there was just really good. You can kind of see certain things coming, but then crazy twists happen, and that was really impressive. But then you go into the multiplayer, whether that's co-op or versus, and that's when this type of stuff comes into play, right? Because the campaign is its own thing, and it's amazing. But then you go into the multiplayer, and suddenly, you know, you have these boosts that you have to take into consideration, or double XP, because right now, it is already double XP when you play uh, versus. So you have a boost that's four times XP. So you get a lot more than usual. Um, but then when we look at all these you know, uh, different contents we have. I can actually load up the game here live in the video as we speak. So you can actually see that these these cosmetics we get, to me, feel like just filler content. You know, you have marks that, well, I've been screaming it at the top of my lungs for years now that people should mark in the game, <laughs> but they don't. So for most people that play the game, um, you know, marking isn't really going to be that much of a uh, factor to, you know, earn something. You know, no one's going to scream, oh, I did it. I earned the kitten mark uh, for Marcus because I don't think anybody cares. Now, there's the banner uh, question uh, and the uh, blood splatter for, uh, you know, all characters and all weapons and that sort of thing. Uh, but again, if I look at them, and you'll see them in a second when the game's ready to load up, uh, a lot of these comments, like, everybody has an opinion, I get that, and they want to share their opinion, hey, that's fine by me, I'm not going to silence anybody or uh, uh, put anyone down for their opinions, but the fact of the matter is that it doesn't need to be this way, and the fact of the matter is also that you're running out of a lot of people, or a lot of people are not playing the game anymore, We're not going to be buying a game because of stuff like this, you know, and some people are right. Sometimes you have to, you have to buy more points, uh, than something costs. So if the game can hurry up 
I can show you this. Go right here, store. So I bought the um, Iron Pack on release. Special week offer. I said, okay, you know what, TC? I'll, I'll bite, I'll bite, because I know I'm going to be playing this game for a long while, or at least I assume I will, because I want to grow my channel, grow my, uh, my Twitch stream, etc., uh, etc., etc., et right? So I have an invest invested interest in this. And in case I do find something that I cannot play for, because I also have a full-time job, then I will have to buy it. Simple as that. So this is the best offer for me. Right. So when that's out the window, we're going to go special offers or uh, world flag. Sorry. So 700 iron. Okay. How do I get 700 iron? Well, when you play the tour of duty, you get tour rewards, which also include, um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Iron. So officer free hundred iron, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I believe the max you get during the tour is like 250. Yeah. So, uh, or sorry, 250 is 500. Well, with 500, I cannot buy a flag. So I'm going to have to get an extra 200 somehow. Well, how do you get the extra 200 somehow? You either wait until the tour is over or you're going to go to iron and you're going to go ahead and buy, you know, a 500 pack. You can't buy 250 or 200. You can't buy exactly what you want. You have to buy the pack. So you're left with more iron than you need once again. And this type of stuff, I don't know. Like this is a flagship title for Xbox. The game doesn't need this. So I'm not looking at the entirety of TC to fix all this or blame on this. It's whoever makes this decision. Uh, uh, I don't understand. You know, you're just, this is not something you would do. A lot of people, <laughs> they say like, okay, well, or a lot of developers, they always take the stance, and I get this because they have to be professional as well. They take the stance, well, you know, you don't have to buy it. No, I know that. But you work there. You could probably get your hands on this in no time. You probably don't have to invest the money that you earn with your job to buy any of this stuff. You can just get it, right? And these types of boosts, look, it was told that it was going to be purely cosmetic, and I'm going to be really petty here. But boosting, does have an advantage not so much in verses right but it does in horde and escape because this also boosts your character uh, uh leveling progression so people can get to the especially with escape with the uh, leaderboards and stuff they can finish the game quicker because they level up faster right so they get more skills and more chance to get skills etc 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 right so there's a competitive edge there. That's my pettiness about co-op, but it's still there, right? You can argue that point. Now, if we look at these, right? So we got the uh, Irelander um, skin, right? So the power button is 400. It's a rare item. Great. 400. That's something I can buy if I complete the entire tour of duty, right? Toastmark, $2, basically, right? Museum loadouts. See, these are just basic skins that in the past would just be unlocks. Okay, 10 bucks. And how do we earn this in game? Well, you would just have to play until I guess you somehow get it. Uh, okay, very player friendly. See, the sweaty pack is 2500. This is $25 depending where you live. Some places you have to buy, you know, these irons or these packs and you do not get uh those for you know this is 20 euros for me that's that's not 20 dollars okay this is like 22 23 dollars including tax right and, and those small amounts they add up for the, for the coalition right now if we go into um let's see here into all these like things that we can earn right see these marks now this stuff to me it just like it just feels like filler People sat down in a room and they discussed that this should be in the game. This is something that people would really like. And, you know, it's a sense of progression. Well, I don't see a sense of progression here. You know, I really don't. I, this is the first time ever I've seen a game <clears throat> where they do something like this. You know, the Call of Duty has like different, different red dot sites and stuff like that that they sell. Well, apparently the coalition sells marks. We're going to go to weapons and we've got the blood sprays. Now here, this just takes the cake for me. This type of stuff 
it's it's just an addition. I get that. But when you look at these designs, right? It's like Forza Street. I was laughing at this with friends yesterday. It's, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Forza Horizon. Man, I can't wait to execute someone and so they can see that there is a Forza Horizon blood pattern on the floor. You know, Forza Motorsport 7. Blood spray. You know, it's incredible. It, it, it's just... It just feels lazy to me. You know, they just went, okay, how many Xbox titles can we throw in here? <laughs> you know, Sea of Thieves, State of Decay, Wasteland. Um, what else we got? This is all rare stuff, so it's probably made. We got flushing system instead of call it, calling it a toilet. It's a flushing system. It just feels as if this has been outsourced <laughs> to somebody who has no connection to the game, no connection to the universe, nothing. You know, and maybe this is launch, right? So I know in the future there could be more. I get that. But this is launch. This is what people initially judge. And if it's not impressive, then they will just put it down. And if I'm somebody new to the game, or even someone that, you know, is a fan of the game, I look at this and it does not strike me as something like, oh, I really want to earn it. Right? When it comes to skins, I don't know what's coming. Right, we see here Art Deco Lancer, DB Lancer, and that's it. This is all the pre-order stuff and the stuff I earned from Gears 4. But I don't know what else is there. So I'm just completely dependent on whether or not the Coalition uh, has um, a creative person behind the controls, I guess, on making all these new skins and, and uh, character uh, costumes and stuff. And again, when you look at these costumes, Right, right now, this is all I have for Kate. But when you look at the pre-order stuff, with the snow armor and stuff, it, it looks good. But it, again, it's just something that's probably just taken out of the game, right? Out of the campaign and put into multiplayer. And that's what you paid for when you pre-order. They got Jack, Factory Jack, and here comes just completely blue Jack. It is just a simple reskin. And yeah, I got through pre-order, so it didn't really cost me that much with the Game Pass. But it's just like, this didn't cost that much time either, right? <laughs> this is not a redesign or anything. It's not a new costume. It's just, everything's blue. And it's got a nice little pattern on the side. whoop de doo Now when we go to the banners, it's the same thing. It, it just starts off with the stuff you earned. Which, if you're a new player, you don't have any of this, right? You might have the Halo Reach, but you don't have all these gilded things. Um, we go down, and, and then the crossovers. Hellbane. Uh, you know, Esports. Um, let's see. Forza Horizon. There it goes. Forza Motorsport. Forza Street. It's like an attempt to get people to either play those games or somehow show off, like, this is my background or this is what I like to share. Um, we got all the, all the banners of the world in here. <clears throat> Sea of Thieves, State of Decay, Wasteland, and then it just, again, turns into stuff like, this. again, this is launch, so I don't know what's coming. Maybe they're cooler in, in the future, uh, but it's just to me, it just feels empty, right? It just feels empty. When I played the tech test, and you only had this tester banner, I was like, okay, yeah, that's, I guess that's, this is better than the emblems that we had, but I'm more and more start to realize, like, do we actually need any of this? You know? Like, I'm the kind of... It's just not for me. You know, I don't need a banner. Um, I would have much more appreciated, like, medals, like, these types of medals to, like, pick, you know, uh, the little slogan it had. So for winners in Gears 3, it had, like, chicken... Uh, winner, winner, chicken dinner at the end, I think. Uh, and the first is, like, I, I like to win a lot or something like that. It's just, like, cheesy one-liners that you can pick on a certain medal to show what you've done, right? What you've accomplished in the game. While with these emblems, or sorry, these banners, it just, it doesn't look that way. It just doesn't look that way. You know, it doesn't look like, okay, I earned the high roller. Well, what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean to me? Right? You got the private banner and it, it just, it's a missed opportunity in, in my opinion. Um, but that's just uh, that's what I wanted to say about these, these customizations and the packs and the store and stuff. It's that it's for most people. It's just it, I don't think it's gonna work. 
I don't think it's going to keep people interested because it's just, it's either you buy or you keep playing until you win it. And instead of having loot boxes, they just, they give you the, you know, you earn it at the end of the game, but you have to keep playing, right? You have to keep finishing stuff. And eventually, uh, I think you're going to run out of things to earn. And then what? You know, if it's, if it's for the people that earn, then is, is it going to take forever for them to earn something? And they got to keep buying boosters so that they level up quicker and then actually earn something? Like, what are the odds of earning something at the end of the game? Do you earn something for re-upping? Do you earn um, a specific uh, uh, skin for a character? Because in the tour, we check here again. See, when you complete all of these, you get Winter Armor Kate. Okay, so that's basically the pre-order skin without the goggles. If I have to look at it like this. Which, by the way, you can't preview anything. You just have to assume it's good. Weapons, you get the Battle War Nasher. Enemies, you get Swarm Hunter. Escape, you get Finger Point Expression. Hive Busters, uh, you get the Knee Face Execution. Horde, you get Desert Armor JD. Heroes, you get all this stuff. You get the Desert Armor Dell. Versus is Drone Get Hype extra Expression. This is for a drone. This is not for everyone. This is apparently just for a drone. So you do all this. You get that. And then Ranked is In Your Face Execution. Uh, for me, just uh, store aside and microtransactions aside. This stuff is kind of cool. But I live in Europe where Ranked dies in a blink of an eye. So this might work right now because it's on release and there's plenty of players. But I already had trouble finding a Guardian game. Granted, there are server issues, I get that. But I could find a King of the Hill game. I could find TDM. Just fine. Didn't play Escalation yet, so I can't vouch for that. But don't have an issue with these. Have an issue with that. Just like in Gears 4. <laughs> um, and all of this has not been explained properly, in my opinion. When I launched the game on Xbox, I didn't know what the medals did. Uh, I didn't know how much... Uh, money i'd have to spend on these packs in order to get something out of it uh or packs sorry the uh the iron packs i guess i don't know what do you call them the premium currency i guess uh, i didn't know what the 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 value would be in them and tc told me they would talk about it before launch and i had to find out myself and in my experience in other games as well when people have to find out themselves it seems like they had more here too <laughs> Uh, when people have to find out themselves, it's usually not a good thing. Like shown on this Reddit post, because there's a lot of people on this Reddit, right? 52k members, but usually I see about 1.22k online, right? And about half of those people agree with this. They find this funny or agree with it, right? And I... I think this is the case. This is the case with the, the Gears World community. Like half, half of the people are always uh, um, torn on one end and, and agreeing on the other end. And it's 91% upvoted. You know, that's a lot of people. A lot of people that have seen this post that decided to leave an upvote. Uh, and that doesn't even take into account the silent majority. Right? There's a lot of people out there that never put their opinion out there and you don't have to uh, but i do wish people did it more because it does work and not giving developers your money not saying they don't deserve it i think they deserve everything that they get uh, but this is not a good choice in my opinion it's not a good choice and the more mainstream the game gets the more attention it could possibly get the more attention it'll get from criticism as well and some of the things in this game, like this type of stuff, I just don't think it needed it. I don't, I don't think it needed it. Uh, but yeah, those are my quick thoughts on this <laughs> 20 minute rant. If you're still here, thank you for uh, listening. <laughs> and uh, I hope you have a good Sunday if you're listening when I upload this. All right, you guys have a good day. Thank you for watching. Take care. Till next time.